Good morning, my Taurus babies. What's happening? This is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. Getting ready to do a weekend update. We are rolling today, Friday, November 13th through Tuesday, the 17th. Um, sorry, having technical difficulties. I ain't had no coffee yet. What the hell? Anyway, um, <clears throat> some of y'all are getting ready to let go of some things. You're getting ready to depart from the path that you are currently on. We got the Queen of Rods or the Queen of Wands and the Empress sitting up on top. And the Three of Wands, the Three of Rods, you know, come on. The Three of Wands is your challenge. Expect some delays and start planning, having some foresight about where you are trying to go. Right now, some of you are probably dealing with some deception with someone you may be dealing with. It might be a fire sign. Another earth sign. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So the Queen of Wives is pulling... Ooh. King of Pentacles, talk about stuff. And Empress is pulling temperance, but the back end of temperance, so this is about healing emotional wounds. Your three of wands is your challenge. It's pulling the four of swords, talking about purification. And when I was shuffling, I saw one of the cards that said integrity. So there may be some things that y'all are dealing with <clears throat> that have to do with how you're approaching the situation. Um, yeah. This, this is what I'm talking about. And, and that it's sitting on top of the Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords. Y'all are trying to distance yourself from some type of behavior, maybe, that somebody is exhibiting, maybe even uh, different people on your job, however that's resonating. Don't let that get you in a rut with the Queen right here. And this is... Sunday's energy, but just looking overall, don't let this shit get you in some kind of funky, fucked up ass rut, because shit's not going the way you want it to, or it's, you can't see movement right now, however, that's resonating, but at any rate, with the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles, looking at the ass end of the King of Pentacles, of course, of course, on the front side, he is about mastery. And, and as Tauruses, we are about that shit. We are perfectionists. We like our shit the way we like our shit. But it can also ooze out a little bit of arrogance. Because, we, you know, I mean, just look at the animal, the bull. He ain't bringing no bullshit from nobody and don't have to. <laughs> that part right there. So this is underneath all of that. But some of y'all are trying to be strategic. The other word for that is cunning. <laughs> I'm trying to have some thought processes behind what you're doing. Some of you are trying to figure out what the hell, who the hell, with the sitting on top of the Queen of Wands, um, there's some deceptions. You're going to need to, to dig deep some hidden truths and not necessarily with yourself, but maybe with people that you're dealing with. People just aren't telling you the whole truth and we're going to come back to the same thing. One reason they're not is because you're that. And they may be feeling like they can't measure up to old bully bull. I'm just saying, it is what it is. People go through what they go through. Don't let this get you in some kind of fucked up mood because it's going to pass. Uh, and the same people that are looking at you sideways today will be looking at you totally different this time next week. Keep that part in mind. With the temperance and the inference on the back end, it's about bringing balance back and healing emotional wounds. Period. And that's where a lot of you are. You're trying to step away from people that are showing you they're getting ready to get into some crazy shit. Now, with the Empress, we're talking about watching over giving. Because sometimes when we feel like we're not coming at something right or people aren't perceiving us right as Tauruses, royal obese that we are, we'll start over giving. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stay in your lane. Mind your P's and Q's. Um... And know, be open, on the positive side, be open to what's coming, be receptive, um, and kind of let this flow into your overall energy. Your challenge, 
with the Four of Swords and the Three of Wands. Expect some delays, but start having some foresight about where you want to be. And again, we're talking about purification. This, this was a very card that I saw. Um, in the other words, integrity. Having good motivation. That's not my word. Having good intentions. That's the word. I'm not up yet. Having good intentions about what you're doing and who you're doing it with. So check, actually check your motivation. Why are you doing something? Why are you hanging with the same, these very people you're thinking about tiptoeing away from? Um, that's, a, that's air energy on the top. So that means there's a thought process that is probably going on. Check your intentions and your motivation behind why you're with a certain person or a group of people or why even if it's job related why the hell are you at your job today huh november 13th hangman a fall that leads to new that's the, the true meaning of this side of this card um so obviously the wheel of fortune is at play and Somebody's going to hand you a box and you're going to put your hand in that box and go, what the hell do I need this for? Whatever the universe is throwing out, with, out to you, don't throw it away because you're going to need it. You might not see it today, but I promise you, if it's a person, if it's a thing, hold on to it. It might look like the dumbest, duddiest gift the universe has ever given you. Hold on to it and you will begin to see the significance uh, obviously, there's a change of perspective that's going to go with that because what you think you're getting right now, not what you're going to get. Um, and this is a good thing. It's just going to look fucked up at the end of it. Those of you that like different types of food, I like chitlins. I'm a southern girl. What you want? Those of you who don't know what chitlins are, if you know what pork rinds are, chitlins are the unbaked version of that. They don't smell good. I promise you they're a bitch to clean. But I like how they taste. I'm just throwing it out there. But the package they come in, you just assume throw that shit literally out. Same here. You're going to have a change of perspective. So whatever, whatever stinky little funky thing the universe gives you today or over the weekend or over the course of the next week or two, hold on to it. Regardless of how funky, stupid, dumb, crazy it looks hold on to it because you're going to need whatever it is soon put that there the emperor you got the emperor and the empress in two different places but the energy is there nonetheless this is about you and your logical thought use your scruples if something don't sound right if it ain't if two and two is not equal to four damn it that that's not it and the emperor and the empress um, are just like your, your kings and your queens. They bring a level of stability. So with this sitting on top of the Six of Pentacles, it's not just about empowering you. It's about doing the same for others um, and making sure other people are in the places they need to be. It's about balance and this keeps coming up with Taurus. We must be way the hell out of balance because I keep, I keep seeing scales. I keep seeing balance written all over whatever I wrote it on. So we obviously need to get in balance. That may mean you need to step away from any big projects that are going on for a minute or two. Um, got the front end of this. Concrete, logical thought. That's what you're working with, period. Um, other folks might be coming out of some little dream sequence. You ain't having it. Keep it keep it real and what makes sense to you, what's logical to you. What's logical to you might not be logical to everybody else. But in doing that, make sure if there are people that you need to take care of around you, make sure you're keeping them in the mix. Um, for Others of you, it's going to be about not selling for second best. You might think you got the cream of the crop, and guess what? pa -da, here comes somebody else. Don't settle. Don't settle. Looking at Sunday's energy, 
with the three of swords on top of the queen of swords yeah you need some some distance between you and whatever it is just irking the hell out of you and for many of you that might be a love situation for some of you it might be friends uh, people not doing what they said they were going to do in love situations maybe they're just being a complete and total lack of closeness or lack of affection some of you may be dealing with an other that has some other shit going on and it's messy and not neat it's like being out in the rain like dude is here with no raincoat no umbrella no nothing um it's going to be up to you whether or not you want to deal with said person or persons because you're already independent and accomplished and got your shit you, you see old girl sitting under the tree putting some distance this may be at work, people acting strange and shit. And, and keeping, remembering what we said back here. What is your motivation? What are your intentions? Are they good? Or are you just doing some shit because you're doing some shit? Obviously, you're getting ready to start a new chapter in your life, a new cycle. And that is sitting on top of the two of wands means just what it means. Planning, progression. There may be some reunions. You may have old friends coming back. And of course, with the holidays, if you're in the United States, Thanksgiving is, what, two weeks away? Christmas is about six weeks away. This is what it is. And it's not bad energy, but even though these may be old people coming back to you, they're coming back in a new chapter. You see little spreadlets up there? Yeah, new chapter. New chapter. Um, whatever you're doing, Make sure it's what you want it to be. A lack of passion is on here. And, and lack of affection up here. You may be coming off towards as being too distant. Now, there may be some situations you, need, you may need to put some space in between you and it. But try your best not to come off as uncaring. Now, here's dude. And again, it's like I said, we're masters. If anybody had that part fucked up, Taurus is a master. A little with earth sign. So we carry a certain amount of arrogance around with us anyway. Try not to be overbearing with that. Sometimes as bulls, we can just be like, I'm the bull, hear me roar and fart. And if you don't like it, get the hell out of the way. And sometimes that attitude is warranted. Here, you need to have a little cunning. You need to have a little shrewdness. You need to have a little strategy at play. You can't just, this is not the time. That, now, a few days ago, I said it was. Now you're getting into a time where this is not the time to just run through the china shop unless you have something very specific, a very specific situation that has pissed you the fuck off and you feel like you need to run through the china shop, by all means, do so. Stand in your light, stand in your truth. But when you're just in your day-to-day -day dealings, try and tone it down a little bit. And then as you're doing that, try to bring yourself back into balance. Understand that the world card also talks about reconciling opposites. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio, maybe a Sagittarius. We won't go out that far. The Scorpio is our true opposite. Uh, and you may be dealing with a situation where they are just way on the other end of the spectrum. Try and empower that person to be their best self. Come on now. And try and make it work. I'm just saying. It's a new chapter. Of course, you're bringing with you all the knowledge and the wisdom from every other past thing you've been through. When we get to Tuesday, the moon and the seven of pentacles, um, there's some, again, we're talking about deception. I'm going to say, look at your money. That's where I'm going to start with the deception part. Look at your money. If you've got issues, something missing, dig deep and figure out what the hell is going on. For some of you, it may not even be that serious. It might be just... <laughs> 
the kids going through your purse and taking the change out. But check your money that is sitting on top of the moon card by being practical, overcoming any obstacles, but also understanding there's some deception. So this is the time to start not only questioning your motives about why you're doing things, but also questioning other folks. Why are they doing some of the shit they do? Uh, don't let people openly deceive you on some bullshit. Call them on their shit. Now, once again, I'm not talking about sharpening up your horns and running through the china shop. See, there's a little strategy there, a little cunning. Got to have you to turn it around a little bit. You can't be that straightforward. You might have to side ways your way into something, into a conversation. But by no means let anybody bully you on some bullshit. So use your scruples in dealing with difficult situations, difficult people. Know that um, there's some illusory, deceptive type shit going on right now. Uh, call people on their lies if you need to. If they're lying to you, call them on it. Just about what the hell I can tell you. Call them on it. Do not waste your time with people that are not dealing in reality. Don't let go. What's more important? Hmm. This came up last night with Scorpio. Find someone else. So let's deal with this. Some of you, certain situations, don't let go. Don't let go. And work is, is resonating here. There may be situations where you just ready to throw your hands up and go, fuck it. I ain't doing this shit no more. Don't let go. Hold on. Once again, talking about the wheel of fortune and what it's bringing you in that little fucked up ass box. If you ready to throw away, why did they give me this? I don't want this. Hang on to it. You're going to need it. Don't let go. What's more important? Is it more important to come into a situation with a clean heart? That's that purification from the four swords, your challenge, and good motivation and good intentions, or just say fuck it and just roll on with it. Think about it. Those of you that are got this question looming large, here's your answer. Find someone else. Um, some of you may be just going through some shit with people who are being deceptive, literally. Lying to your face. Find somebody else, boo-boo. I love y'all. I got to go to my man. Ah. Ah. I hope y'all have a good day and a good weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.